All right, guys, welcome back to San Bernaduque, uh, one of my favorite cities uh, that welcomed here by our lovely homeless group. Yeah, there's tons of them. And listen, there's the, the ones I'm pointing out typically are the drug infested ones. There's a lot of homeless people that uh, are up and coming that live in kind of a normal lifestyle. But uh, the, the ones I'm looking, showing in the videos mostly are the ones that are typically drug infested. So anyway, as we come into town here, I wanted to, the reason I wanted to come back here is because, well, it looks, looks like that building's just boarded up and broken into a few times and some homeless people there, lovely, is because they're tearing down the Carousel Mall. And, you know, if you guys have looked into that at all, You'll find out that it's estimated, or the budgeted, $8 million to tear that thing down. And let me ask you guys, do you does, do any of you guys think that it's only going to cost $8 million to tear down all this big, big, huge mall? And the answer is, not no, but hell no. It is going to cost, I'm going to estimate, they'll probably put about $30 million dollars into removing this iconic eyesore. So, yeah, I'm gonna bet that it's gonna be 30 million bucks. That's my, that's just my bet. Oh, look, that one closed up. Oh, the burger joint's gone. Hmm. Since last time we're here, and that one there's fenced up and closed as well. So let's invest taxpayers' money into tearing down this one so that we can put in something better. Okay, we'll see how this goes. So let me tell you guys how this works. So what they do is they come in, they have a local politician, he comes in, he comes into the office and he goes, hey, how are those bids coming along? And then, you know, he takes a look at them and, you know, sneakily. And then he calls his buddy up and he goes, hey, hey, lowest bid on this thing is, you know, 8,300,000. He's like, what? I can't do it for that. Don't worry about it. Just, just, just bid it at eight million. So the guy bids it at eight million, right? And then, uh, lo and behold, there just happens to be some things in the plans that nobody knew about. Oh, we didn't know there was going to be electrical there. That's a little extra. Oh, we didn't know there was going to be this problem. There's going to be a little extra. Oh, there's a sewer issue. We're going to have to deal with it. It's a little extra. And. Of course, those change orders are 10 times the value of the job. And, uh, you know, just so happens that uh, the guy who's doing the job uh, drops some money in the guy's campaign, you know, just nonchalantly. And us taxpayers end up paying for it. Huh, genius. God, that's boarded up too. All oh, these are all boarded up. Look at this. Wow. All the businesses here are gone. This is epic. So usually they'll have like their wife's, uh, you know, she's got a foundation and, you know, she's such a nice lady, you know, foundation. And uh, she gets a half a million dollar salary from the foundation, by the way. Gotta watch out for the unmarked popos here. So anyway, so that foundation just happens to get a donation as well. So then all of a sudden, you know, becomes a salary. Hmm. That's kind of how that happens usually. Stuff like that. And uh, most happens with the Democrats, by the way. Usually Republicans have their own businesses that they've made tons of money on. And that's why they got into doing public service. Not just because they wanted to get rich. So that's how it works. Anyway, and some people will disagree with that. And that's fine. Well, again, uh, I remember working inside that building. And now, I don't know, it's up for demolition maybe? I don't know. Got burned up man and this was like one of the nicest buildings in town it's gone there really isn't anything much left of San Bernardino I mean if they're gonna pay all that money to bulldoze that they might as well just bulldoze the rest of the city so just so you guys know real quick I, I do not have any strikes but with this Bud Light thing going on right now they were demonetizing and ruining tons of channels so I wanted to make sure everything is in the guidelines so we're gonna make sure that we always follow exactly the guidelines because they could just all of a sudden change it and then 
take down all of my channels and that wouldn't be really very fair as much work as I've done on those so anyway so it might just I know I want to make sure that we know everybody knows we are not hating anyone there's no hate going on here it's just awareness it's just to try and get people to be aware and also make it a little bit funny at the same time hmm interesting fella there he's talking to himself Lots of bicycles and backpacks. Always a good sign. A lot of unsavory looking fellers and they have like backpacks on like they're hiking, but they're not. This is such a big city. There's so much to film here. I did start in the wrong place because I just wanted to cover that in the video. So I really want to go somewhere different, but there's so much to see here. It's just like, wow, that building's boarded up. I don't think I went down here last time and that one's boarded up. Man, is anything open in here? Wow, that one looks like it's closed, but there's cars in there. Weird. Some kind of a youth thing. Then I know I showed this last time I was here. Of course, get your free phones. Oh, ice cold water and soda with the application. If giving you a free phone wasn't enough, the ice water, soda sounds pretty enticing. It's like there's just crime everywhere. I'm not saying that this feller had anything to do with it, but I just saw some action going back on back there and like somebody was either dumping some stuff in a house or, or closed business or like rummaging through for recycle. Wow, that place is closed too. That one's closed. Holy crap, Is like I said, is anything open around here? surprised if this church is still open I mean I went through here last time and I was going the other way but man the houses whoo that porch has to have like 10 weeks of stuff sitting there just drop it as you get home you know I gotta say the house back there was mowed it was clean it was nice and they're next to all these guys good job you guys I appreciate you guys who clean your homes some of these ones I mean that one's mowed and looks pretty good I mean they're attempting some of these folks are but I mean man the condition of the other ones it's like oh it's a rental I don't really care my lander doesn't care either it's like dude you live there why don't you care maybe you should whoa Man, could you put any more on the front yard? Wow. This guy lost, well, it might be empty. I don't know. God, another view at this. Oh, they're building something new? There's plenty of stuff that's closed. Just unboard the windows and fix them up a little. You don't need to build anything new. It's crazy. And there's a law office for something. I don't know. Craziness. What is this building? Is it must be welfare department or something? County clinic or civic building? Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, this guy's got $15 tires. Hmm. I guess you'd never run out of rubber around here. Slightly bald tire, 15 bucks. Oh, and by the way, it's 15 to put it on too. Well, you can stop by here and get yourself a tall boy of 40 of King Cobra. We've got tons of it in there. If you don't like that, you can always go to Oh man, look at that, it's just lovely. Wrecked cars, love it. I don't know why, but for some reason it just feels like crime around here. Wow, the houses are just wrecked. There's so many neighborhoods like this out here, it's just crazy. I wanted to get up to the area where there's nicer homes. Poor kid has a mask on, Does, I mean, Maybe he has an ailment or something. God, it's really a mild variant right now. I just don't understand why people live in so much fear. You know, it's just crazy. The government has everybody just thinking that, man, they just have to be so protective of themselves because it's just so crazy. And there's really no reason for it at this point. I mean, I can almost understand there's a lot of kids with masks on. You know, when they're at school or whatever, I can get it. You know, you don't want to go around or something. I don't even think they really help much at this point. But 
you know, geez, I can almost understand it. But when they're walking outside, I, I mean, who's put that fear in their head? I don't get it. Wow, are these homes just wrecked? I don't know if I got into Highland over here, but it's just, I don't know, it, it blends together a bit. I passed Del Rosa, you guys tell me, I don't know. It's just so odd, all the houses, you know, you got one that looks okay, one that looks terrible, eh, kinda, you know, like livable, and then you gotta look at working looking family here. It's just crazy going through these neighborhoods and looking and seeing what you guys see. I'll get you guys up nice and close. You can judge for yourselves. I mean, it's just odd. San Bernardino, San Bernardino is really, really, you know, it has so much potential. And just the way people don't take care of their yards, I mean, in your in their houses. I mean, there's guys with really nice homes. Like, I mean, that lady out there doing her yard, it's clean, the grass was green, nice. Man, she just got, you know, there's so many rentals and people that just don't care. And when you see that, when you go through an area and you see that people don't care, their their mind has to be on something else. Their, their mind's not on cleaning their yard. Their mind's not on taking care of things. It's either on, it could be on drugs, could be on alcohol. Uh, maybe they just get a welfare check and don't really care. Maybe they get... A welfare check and pays the rent I don't know but it is really weird poor little Pedro out front trying to keep business under control young fellers getting off work and having some fun and a good old motorhome on the side of the road you know camping is fine normal normal everyday San Bernardino this is lovely god Blessed. I don't know why they have all that junk all over their fence. Huh. Man, it's just so weird. This was a great town in the 60s. It really was. Now it's just wrecked. You know, when when uh, McDonald's, you know, or when the uh, Route 66 used to go through San Bernardino, it was really, really a nice city. There was, you know... And now it's just, man. And you know what? It's gotten so much worse. It's just, the, it just, I just smell Section 8 everywhere. It just looks like Section 8 homes everywhere. And you can tell the ones that own it, they're kind of giving it a little pride, you know, kind of fix them up a little bit, trying to make them look a little bit better. But, you know, you can just see, you know, you see one that's just, wow furniture hey great that is just wrecked and then they got bars in their windows Whew. how many bicycles holy crap then you got the wash down here god just like homeless camps you know these are not normal homeless people I mean if you guys lost everything would you go and camp next to these guys come on Let's be real, no you wouldn't. So those are typically drug infested homeless and it's just, and nobody's doing anything about it. I wonder what street this is. I don't know, all the signs are gone. Interesting. Guess it's like San Bernardino Avenue or something. You know, look at this place here. Just right in the middle of the street. Just wrecked really cool looking party doll business over there like a neat old sign and stuff uh, power stroke specialist I guess you need a lot of those I drive diesel but I stay away from the good old F words Wow triple X open 24 hours fits right in doesn't it the furniture collection hmm doesn't look like that business made it Ah, yes, we're in the lovely part of Highland. So yeah, I was gonna cover a little bit of Highland out here, because Highland's kind of a small town, uh, but it's right next to San Bernardino. I mean, they kind of blend together, and it is just as lovely as San Bernardino. There's absolutely no graffiti, no signs of crime anywhere, just loveliness. Where they have apartments, you just, you know, Listen for the gunfire and duck. You'll, you'll be fine. 
And you got fine young gentlemen riding very fast as they come out of the liquor store because they got a baggie of something. Did they pay for it? Who knows? Because in California, you know, you can just go in and take something out of the store and just walk out. And guess what happens? Nothing. Because they made laws that make it easier on crime criminals. I mean, how do you think that's gonna work out? I got a good one for you guys now. A brand new law they just signed out. This was done by Mr. Wonderful, Mr. Magoo, I mean Biden. If you ever watch old cartoons, Mr. Magoo is hilarious. He is absolutely Joe Biden. I, he may, they must be cousins. Whoa, the supermart. I guess you can get beer in there too. So anyway, the new law. If you have good credit, and you go to buy a house, guess what? You get to pay more. How about that? Oh, God, that's bad. Because what they're doing is they're gonna lower the fees for somebody with lower than 680 FICO scores. Isn't that great? Hey, just stop paying your bills, get laid on some stuff, and you get a better deal on your home loan. This is not conspiracy theory. This is actually signed by Mr. Biden today. As we love roll through the lovely TJ market and see things like this. So next time you go to buy a house, thank Joe for paying your bills on time. Because you know what everybody's going to do? They're just not going to pay their bills. It makes it so that you can just be totally irresponsible and still and actually benefit from it. So that, how do you think that's going to work? Liquor and check cashing wide open. While this shopping center has closed, kind of open with bars, closed, 99 cents. Uh, that one, hair and nails, looks as like it's gone too. I don't know what this one is. Dance, maybe open sometimes. And the Lavenderia, gone. And the only reason this place is probably still in business is because the police officers come here often. You're messing with my donuts. You're going to jail, pal. The thriving businesses in town are always tires. Seems like, my God, look at that. Muffler? Oh, man, whatever. Half the letters were missing. Oh, massage. Huh. Yeah, nice clean looking building. I'm sure that that one's a legit one. Don't think I wanted to go there and find out if they have happy endings. That'd be kind of embarrassing to have to get up and leave. Probably a daily occurrence, or hourly actually. Wow, Highland's just gotten way more lovely. Man, it's like 90% closed. Oh, and lock them up windows. This guy got smart. Got tired of him getting broken out. There's the fire station, by the way. I can tell you back in the day, Highland was way nicer than San Bernardino. It was kind of like the nice part of San Bernardino. Now it's kind of like, I don't know which one's worse. They're both pretty bad. Warning, homeless crossing. Not them. They're not, obviously. Well, maybe, I don't know. She's carrying water, interesting. In a baby thing. Hmm. I don't know what the indication of that was. Well, it looks like we're getting to the nicer part of town. Which I don't know if it's really very nice. Let's go up this way and look around. This used to be really nice. Well, in this town, I think the real estate opportunities are amazing. We should all move into a home like this one. It's like, how many times do you think they broke into that? Wow. All the way around. It's just epic. And I wonder what happened to all those businesses that were in there. So if you haven't painted it in 30 years, thanks to Gavin Newsom, you probably won't ever be able to paint it. Thanks to all the taxes and fees put on paint, construction materials, probably houses, gonna be a lot more houses looking like that one. And some of the houses are really nice. It's just a shame how bad this has gotten. Wow, that is wrecked. I'm sure that that just got stopped, whatever construction was going on there. They hasn't been done in a long time. Kind of the indication of problems might be some of that graffiti there. Wow. 
and I think is this building here vacant sure does look like it is but I think there's somebody doing something in there Wow then you've got these beautiful old homes just as a shame I mean this was a really nice city at one point even the stop signs get tagged around here I mean, look at those art deco style homes just gorgeous and just here in the middle of Sam or, or in the middle of Highland just getting run down that's because we have so many fine upstanding citizens like this guy over here yep and a lot of good businesses around town too got the cigar lounge that might still be around a little bit like this one's empty this one's empty this one's empty thrift and boutique ah, okay and then we've got an empty one and a kind of a barbershop place a couple other places in this little place here and he found a shady spot and of course across the street good old palm liquor yep still in business but everything else in here is pretty closed except for the grocery place I actually like that grocery place it's pretty good but look at the rest of the shopping center vacant 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 I think that almost everything's vacant except for the lawn laundry day I think it's still around and a couple of the others the cleaners you know you guys should keep voting Democrats so we can have lots of things like this and wonderful folk like this hanging out outside become broke poor live with a bad credit score because you get rewarded for doing so that's genius God the same thing in this shopping center I mean just across the street from the other one everything's vacant Probably because just so many people just go in there and just grab stuff and leave. Uh, let's head back to San Bernardino because you know what? Um, out here in Highland, I think they've closed all their businesses because... So the homeless just left. And they went down the road to San Bernardino because they got no other places to just smash and grab. That's pretty pathetic if you ask me. My goodness. Wow. I'd love to go look around Highland some more. There's so much to see here, but there's so much more in San Bernardino. I think you guys will enjoy so much more. Now I want to show you guys some of the nicer homes that used to be nice, and maybe they aren't now. Just because everything in this city, these cities has just fallen down. Again, because really good support of our government. I think this is, a, is this one of those low security jails? I can't remember. Or is it like Patton or something like that? I don't recall. It's one of the two. Yeah, it just makes it great here. Yep, Patton Avenue. I think it's Patton, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what the appropriate word is for it, but um, anyway, I think you guys might know what that is. Let's just be nice, special people. So is wearing PJs to school the thing now? I don't know. Kind of strange if you ask me. So up in the hills behind me, there are some very nice homes in Highland still, I'm sure. I haven't been up there in a long time, but it's kind of frustrating when you gotta go down to the, down to the flatlands where I am right now and go shopping and half the stores are gone. So I'm sure if you live here, I think you just love that part. So current gas prices, regular, $4.49, uh, mid-grade, $4.69, super, $4.89, and diesel is $4.95, if I can tell, I can't really see. Yeah, that's absolutely affordable, isn't it, guys? If you guys are in another state, uh, you know, I think, you know, you could just travel freely through the state without any interruptions at all you know with those kind of gas prices i don't know if you guys know but gavin newsom stopped oil production stopped made the oil companies do like i think it's 150 million barrels a year less production oil so that we can get it from south america because our oil refineries are set up for thick oil okay and in south america is the only place close enough that they have that kind of thick oil that we have because the refinery it's not meant for our refineries the, the way that they're already set up for 
So now they're bringing it on ships from South America, like places like Venezuela, I forget the other countries down South America, and bringing it on a ship and putting all those emissions in the air to bring it up here so that we don't have to produce oil. We have tons more oil in our state and they won't let them get it out. And we're talking about oil wells that are already there. Love to see your comments on that stuff. Uh, if you have any comments on it, thank you. Go ahead and put them down. Yeah, next to every freeway off ramp, there's always this loveliness. Went to Walmart the other day to get a cart. Couldn't get any. There wasn't any left. So I asked lady, hey, what happened to the cart? She's like, well, I think the homeless, you know, they just disappeared. I'm like, wow, interesting. It's just amazing that's, that how people would just be in space like that, just like on drugs. I just don't, I don't understand it. Is that like desirable? Does that feel good? Wow, and then, my goodness. Oh, I think we just passed into San Bernardino. How lovely. Look at this. Oh, the welcoming committee. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad that you guys stopped me to take a look at things. That guy's urinating, or is he just playing with himself? That's weird. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. I think he was just, like, doing something not so good. And it's just continuing. Oh, my God. The businesses I pass up are even worse. Man, I wouldn't want my kids around here. These are pretty young girls. I got all these weirdo people around here. It just doesn't look very good. It looks pretty scary. I guess if you lived here, you'd just feel like so normalized with it. I don't know. I, you know, honestly, do we, do we need to become that way? Do we need to become normalized with that kind of thing going on? Just like, again, same thing. This shopping center has got a lot of clothes stuff. I'd be afraid to park somewhere and go inside. My car be broken into. Oh yeah, it's under 950 bucks, so it's fine. I love how the California just made that, that law. That was just genius, genius. Thank you, Kevin Newsom. You are such a genius. That third grade education you've got just paid off. Yeah, we're back in Samur Dookie. I can kind of tell by the welcome committee back there. Just love it. Oh yeah, just burn it down by the way. Wow. You know, that's a lot of times these the drug infested homeless guys are, are breaking into places and lighting them on fire. It's just absolutely insane. It's insane. I, I just, I don't understand why we're not doing anything about this. I was in the Harbor Freight and I, I went into the Harbor Freight and I looked to see, you know, for a more expensive tool and I'm like, there's all empty boxes on the shelf. And I go, hey, what's going on? And he goes, well, they just disappear if I have them on the shelf. So I have them in the back. Crazy. It's just everywhere. My goodness, like everywhere around here, it's just like a boarded up house, a boarded up building. It's like, half the city is vacant and then there's just this sort of thing wow I mean it is so many people the dentistry oh that place is gone wow the whole big building boarded up across the street like every other place in one of these little shopping centers is closed just boarded up or gone empty got this like nice looking gas station right here everything's manicured and then you go up right here looking across the street my goodness what the heck there's a homeless camp and trash filth it is just horrible it's like my god jeez and it's fenced off just that property owner is probably just beside themselves and just guys walking over here and some guy over here that looks kind of sketchy if you ask me when he knows these guys so hmm 
don't know about that. Motorhomes in the backyard over there. I don't know. Is this place closed? It's a house of praise. Wow. And probably not many people show up anymore. Let's go down here and take a look. It's like, man, every bus stop has a trash bag and something. I don't know. Let's go down this street. It just seems like it has the right vibe to me. Oh, yes. If you have a child, just stop by and take it. This guy figured out rentals are a pretty good deal around here. So he got to tire fell off and it's all right wow just leave it oh my god wow this is epically bad i do feel sorry for this person with this nice house have a classic car in the front yard was covered up yard's a little tall but you know it looks like they do maintain it this guy's got a house to live in on the side of the road. Wow. This lifestyle is just epic. I can't believe people live like this. Absolutely crazy. And that guy back there, he didn't like me filming on his street. Maybe this is why. Well, it's kind of sad if you look at this from this point of view. I'll tell you, it's really pretty bad around here. And, you know, I mean, oh, I don't want you guys filming on my street. Why? Wouldn't you rather people to see this and maybe somebody will do something about it? My God. Look at this guy. He's got a nice house. And his neighbors just live like that with just filth and stuff everywhere. And then we've got this guy what the heck did he have on some kind of like a kids I don't know it was like some sort of like bunny ears or something I couldn't tell you Del Rosa Plaza full of vacancies lovely but the liquor store again doing just fine now this part up at Del Rosa this is still San Bernardino up in the mountains up there is still pretty decent. It's not bad. Again, you have to shop in those shopping centers below the hill. And some of these homes over here are pretty nice. I mean, look at this. This is nice. It's got a nice view of the city. It's actually pretty nice along here. Very livable, actually, if you ask me. And being uphill is probably a plus because when you're uphill like this, it's hard for them to get their bicycles to come up here and rob people. But I'm sure there's still some of that going on. But man, you know, these are homes. These are homes are, that are pretty nice in this neighborhood. So again, this is like, uh, I guess the Indian reservations over there, over there, if you can see where my finger is. And uh, I, I yeah, you casino know, and all that. And this is above that towards Highland. Um, these area here is actually pretty darn nice homes I want to say this is a livable neighborhood you know these people take care of their homes and look there's no odd colors um, they or the yards look good you know this is this is a decent area so there are decent areas in San Bernardino and I don't want people to think it's all bad one of the problems is, is there's a lot of crime down the hill. If you didn't notice, a, a lot of those homes that aren't maintained, you know, rents due. Let's go get some rent, you know, and you might be the victim living up here. I don't know. Comment below if you live up here. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about that. And uh, yeah, this is actually pretty nice. These are, but that one, geez, what happened there? The yard kind of got out away from them there. But, God, look at this. Beautiful home. There's a few of them up here. Again, this neighborhood kind of continues even down the hill a little bit. It's not quite as nice, but it's still not bad. Very livable. But you have a few, eh, you know. starts to get a little more sketchy as you go down. thought it was looking good, but I'm not so sure. It's definitely one of the first parks I've seen with no graffiti. And... 
with no homeless camps in, the, in it. This is near 39th and Golden. So it doesn't look that bad right in here. I know that these little canal things or whatever they are, the waterways that come down from the mountains, kind of divide the city up a little bit. And so uh, sometimes, you know, camps can be in there, but you don't know. I mean, I don't know, I can't see over there. But look, I mean, that doesn't look too bad. But stuff like this is just unexcusable. Why? Why would you just drop trash like that on the side of the road when there's dumps around? I mean, even if you dumped it illegally somewhere in the trash, you know, it'd probably be better off than leaving it like that. So as you get down the hill, it's getting a little more sketchy as we go down. Still not too bad. We're kind of overgrown over there. Little yard maintenance issues and then somebody with a really nice one back there not bad in this area yeah, I think I used to have a friend that lives over lived on this road and he bought a couple of houses and flipped them and uh, it's actually was a decent neighborhood he's like eh, it's not too bad but there's some around here he's like you're still in San Bernardino I don't know what happened to him. I haven't talked to him in a long time, but uh, I bet he got out of here. I wouldn't be surprised. Probably got out of the whole state. Wow, that is lovely. God, the yard maintenance. Little look, nook of nice little homes. That one's painted well. Great place to drop tires too. God, I just love that. I just got some tires. I'll just drop them on the side of the road. Somebody will pick them up. And that, whatever it is, at one point, these little old 50s homes were so nice. Now as we get down the hill with the shopping carts and the trash and people living in their vehicles, kind of gives you the indication things are just a little more run down than up the hill. So again, this part of town along the mountainside is a lot better than the other. Now this is the street I was thinking of, I think right up here, Valencia where there were some really nice homes at one point, and there probably still is. I think this is the one with a golf course in the middle of the road. I mean, these homes are really nice. And it's just amazing. It, it The horrible thing is you got, when you shop, you gotta go down into the dungeon. And uh, you know, they got this really nice looking golf course in the middle of this road. So Valencia, these homes here are just huge. Fat homes and you know, you think San Bernardino is all crap, but it's not. This is actually, these were like really, really nice homes in the 60s and they're still pretty nice now. Um, they have sprawling yards, you know, and they have, uh, some of them are just huge. So it's quite interesting. I'll kind of get you guys up in a little closer, maybe you can kind of see. The yards are really big. Better maybe like that. Really big yards. Really nice homes. And it's right near the other stuff. I mean, it's like two minutes drive across the freeway and you're just in hell. So it's quite interesting, isn't it? I mean, if you guys have never been to San Bernardino and you didn't know this existed or if you've been here, this is an area that there's they're just beautiful big homes it's crazy it's crazy I've been in a few of them and they're just 10,000 square feet some of them are bigger and you got all over here really nice really nice homes and then it just changes again it goes from here to kind of yeah, yeah. not as nice some sketchy apartments up ahead we're gonna go around the corner but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off for this portion of the video and we're gonna bring you back in. Literally, I'm gonna take you like five blocks over and it just, the city just completely changes. So literally a couple of blocks away, I just went around the corner. You can see the neighborhood change. This park, yeah, it's a little sketchy. I don't know. I haven't been there a long time. It's hit and miss. Some, oh, now it's full of homeless. How about that? Is that what that is out there? Holy crap, it is. It's all homeless people way out there. 
So literally uh, two blocks away from that nice neighborhood is just homeless everywhere. This whole area right here is, eh, can be pretty rough. A lot of homeless coming and going around here. Again, mini bikes, you know? They don't even care. Right down the middle of the road. No brakes. Nothing. Popping wheelies and everything. <laughs> what a crazy. I don't know if you can hear that. He's driving right down the middle of the road. No cops. Nobody busting him. Nothing. One thing I gotta say is at least he has a helmet on. I didn't even think the guy in Hammett had a helmet on. Short walking distance away, you got this housing right here. Lovely. Oh, come on. Oh, it'll be good. It is just epic. Yeah, I mean, just a few blocks away from Valencia, like this is about five blocks away, you've got clutter in yards, they haven't been mowed in weeks, you know, that sort of thing. In the 60s, this neighborhood was to the nines, it really was, this was a really nice neighborhood. Now. No. Hit and miss. A lot of interesting folks riding bicycles. Homeless camps. It's just lovely. Yeah. Huh. Well, the one thing I gotta say is the yard parking hasn't been much lately. Except for that one street I went down. This feller doesn't look like he's like, uh, up to no good. Westphalia alert, Westphalia alert. No, it's a Vanagon. Got a neighborhood kind of like this. It's just no curb and gutter. A lot of clutter in the front and backyard. Don't know, and then this, oh my God. And the trailer that has no tires and wheels. Probably sold them. Weird. And then just use it for a rental. But you're not disappointed, are you? Uh, car dealer? Maybe. You know, I was looking at rents out here. It's like houses like these little places, like a shacky thing. It's about two grand, eighteen hundred bucks absolutely affordable I mean I'm sure that anybody you know working for 15 bucks an hour minimum wage could afford to live there no oh really cool old Corvair right there that's neat two-door hardtop right in the front this one they painted the windows I guess they're probably gonna replace them though that's my guess house flipper Taking the kid for a walk, I guess that's all right. This one's actually getting painted. Wow. You know, it's the first house I've seen get painted in this city so far. First one. Literally, I've been driving through the whole town and everything needs to be painted. And that's the first one I've seen getting painted. Wow. That's gotta do so have something to do with all the affordable paint in this state. Gavin Newsom just decided to tax the heck out of chemicals and paint and, you know, stop producing oil, you know, outlaw oil-based paints, all the good things. And, uh, yeah, made in paints uh, 50 VOC, you know, regular house paint has to be 50 VOC. You know, it was only like 150 VOC, which is fine. You know what, that that's nothing really 
150 VOC, and he had to make it 50. Why? That's what Jerry Brown did, actually. Why? What did that do? Made paint not last as long and made it more expensive. Lovely. Let's just make it harder on the indigent people of the state. Another liquor store, they're like, I haven't seen a grocery store, but two liquor stores in the same sitting. Oh man, those duplexes gotta be just lovely to live in. I can hear the fighting already. Hey honey, what'd you do with my welfare check? I bought food. Well, you know, we need that for beer. You guys know I'm joking. You can't buy beer with your welfare check. Okay, can't do that. Wow, it just seems to get worse as you go this direction. Further away you go from Valencia Road, it just gets worse. It's like we're heading towards, uh, I think this is the Muscubiabi area of, of uh, ooh, yeah, I can tell by the really occupied homes around here that things are wonderful. Your car gets stolen, stolen goods or something like that, just go peruse this neighborhood, you might find it. And if you're looking for a place just to camp, you know, great place right here. Oh uh, yeah. Something about his cars in tow, I think it said on the door, I was trying to read it. This person just figured out it's okay. My car broke down and this is where I ended up. Wow. Oh, the trash and the couch in the river bottom. Oh, that'll be great for groundwater. And if you get hungry, you can go to this guy here with no license, just buy something to eat. Anybody figured out why you call it San Berduke yet? The apartment life, do I need to tell you? I don't think you'd want to live in these. GPA, I'm not saying, but it ain't good. But the crime rate's down, you know why? Nobody reports them anymore. Because the police can't even do anything. Why would you even, if you were a little store and, and, and everything you had get stolen, you know, you just get tired of the police. They come over, they make a report, whatever. You do get nothing, they don't go after the guy. The guy gets a ticket, he gets out of jail in a couple hours, or he didn't go to jail, he just gets a ticket. He never shows up to court. At some point you just go, this isn't even worth it. It's not even worth it. You just stop calling the cops. That's what's happened in most of the state of California. Thanks, Gavin Newsom, for making those kind of laws. Oh, we might have a car wreck up ahead. That would be lovely. No, it looks like somebody stole one and took it up on the hill. Yep, stolen car. Recovered right there. If you were looking for your SUV, that's where it was. And that's not a joke. That's true. That was probably a stolen car recovery. This was an area where a lot of guys, when they steal a car, they go dump it around here because it's vacant. There's nothing around in this little hill. So yeah, that was a stolen car recovery for sure. Well, I gotta tell you guys, the only place affordable to live is San Bernardino in the state now. It's more affordable than anywhere else, but God, I just couldn't imagine wearing a bulletproof vest every time you left your house. Honey, can you run to the grocery store? Hang on, let me get my vest. That's when you go to the grocery store and you feel like you accomplished something. Whew, I got back. I made it back home. And I'm still alive. Good old San Bernardino County building. Oh, it's gotta be lovely. Well, this neighborhood's not the best. That's for sure. Well, it's kind of okay. This street is, at least. I mean, you know, a lot of cars. A couple of RVs in the front yard. They got double RVs, so that kind of gives you an idea that there's probably... Uh, more than one occupant. Yes. Some are a little more lovely than others, and some are just okay, not bad. So I'd say this neighborhood's not terrible. Uh, I've been in definitely worse areas than San Bernardino, so it makes me feel kind of safe going around here. Don't know what's in this feller's backpack, but eh, always makes me a little worried when I see that. That doesn't look very good. Those ones, uh, ooh, it just looks like, just sorry, it just does. Just says section eight everywhere all over it. 
Yeah, there's probably a lot of Section 8 people here. Some of them are good, some are bad. You just don't know. It's hard to tell. And you got fellers walking down the road like this. Uh, don't think he's got a kid in that thing. That was his buggy. Coin, laundry, and water. Hmm. The water's so foul, you gotta buy it. There's not graffiti packages on that liquor store, but it's a liquor store. I mean, this was a cool old area. Look at those old signages. They're so neat. But man, the stuff around here, wow, the rallies just got wrecked. They just closed that up. You got folks like this guy around over here. No place to go. You got this neighborhood right next to there. Whew. Does not look very good. Carts, junk hauling guys. Man, there's look how many junk hauling guys are in there. Saw like six bicycles over there. We must hire homeless guys to haul junk. I don't think I'd be hiring those guys. Nope. Interesting fellers like those guys and that guy walking over there. He didn't look like it. he's just a regular dude with that hat on just looks kind of weird this low rider bicycle don't know how that was acquired see these all locked up right here I don't know that looks like it'd be a problem this neighborhood oof. no chance I'd ever rent in there hey look there's a guy just riding a quad right down the street. No helmet on. And a go-kart right behind him. I'll teach them right when they're young. Wow. <sighs> That's got to be really good. Right next to the freeway. God, I wonder if they have any problems with the Chevy dealer. You'd think they would, right? I don't know. They must have like 24 hour security. Oh, they're putting up security cameras on that. Oh, sorry, they don't even slow down when they see those. The criminals around here just, they just break in anyways. Or you can just stop somewhere like this and just drop your trash. It's fine. Great place too, dead end road. Right with the motorcycles all ride. That's a great spot. I think if I was a kid, I'd be doing the same thing. <laughs> Find a nice place like that and just run your mini bikes up and down there. God, I mean, this is a great little street for that. But yeah, you know, those guys are putting up security cabinets or security cameras. Uh, good luck with that. I hope it works out for them. So, like, right in this immediate area, like within like a two-block period, there's a closed rallies. It's been just like boarded up and there's like five liquor stores five liquor stores right in this immediate area crazy all of them still open another feller out there no place to go see here's smitty's liquor there was like two or three of them behind me all right, so we're going to head over to the other part of town. Maybe I'll get a little more footage on here. I don't know. Uh, I might go by this other part of town this uh, as I leave since I'm going that direction. And uh, go out Route 66. To There's like shootings in that area all the time. So well, I think I'll be fine. I, did, I meant to say Mount Vernon, not Waterman. Going the opposite direction. Kind of hard to think, drive, and film at the same time. So as I get up the freeway, I'm just inundated with this lovely stuff. It's just amazing how somebody can just sit in a pile of trash like that. You've got to be so high on drugs just to be able to just do that. I couldn't imagine. Like everything's wrecked and closed all the way along here. It's crazy. The barber shop, I think it's open. But boy, is it bright. Hey, look, a Dollar Tree and a Family Dollar in the same building. What the heck is going on here? Is like Taco Bender having a sale? Let's see. 
oh, it's Tuesday. Taco Bender has Taco Tuesday. So you can go on a Taco Bender if you want to come in, wait in line for an hour and a half. Absolutely sounds worth it. Anybody hear that? Yeah. Can you hear it? A little bit of bass. Thank you for letting me listen to your music, or your bass at least. Unfortunately, I'm not able to film it, but I really am just seeing like drug infested homeless in every direction. It's like stereo. You just kind of see one direction to the left, one to the right, one behind you. You're just like, everywhere you go, you're just seeing just craziness. Of course, liquor store, every corner. Sure, there's nothing going on in there anymore. These neighborhoods around here are just epic. There is, in this area, between Mount Vernon and uh, I think where it goes all the way up towards Colton, it's just like you see on the news, you know, shooting, cop killed, whatever. It's in this area. Ooh, mountain of trash behind that apartment. Love it. And like some sort of lock them up windows on every single one of them. What is that? Couch alert. Couch alert. There's one for you right there. The Total Care Automotive looks like a great place to get your car fixed. Probably do good work, but man, did it look rough. Lots of fences in the front yard. I just love the chain link. It just looks so lovely. Uh, I don't know what's going on there, but it just makes me a bit scared. I mean, how many cars can you fit in the front yard anyways? Wow. Oh, got one on the boulevard too. Yeah, I guess it's better to have them in the front yard than have them on the street and get run into by the drunk drivers. I guess I'd do the same. Drunk driving? Good possibility. They don't just tell you for the heck of it. Great place to pitch a tent, I suppose. You know where those ship container containers go on trains? This is where it is. Right here. Well, we just got our kicks on Route 66 back there. Now we're heading on to Rancho. Ah, I love the graffiti, thank you. It just makes me so excited. Man, no shortage of these, that's for sure. Liquor, cigs, you know, all that stuff. They got it. Mm, the homeless, or is that just a car covered up? I think it was a car. Wow, these are wrecked. Holy crap. Oh, those apartments are definitely not ones I want to apply for. No, thank you. Smoke shop, right here. Driving businesses over here, too. Well, I was driving down this neighborhood, and I saw this house, and I just had to film it. I love it. Thank you for the flag. Nice looking yard, really nice looking house. Even the house next door is not too bad. Nice looking little neighborhood right here between Rancho and the freeway. This, some of this used to be really bad, but I guess people got so broke from different areas to live, they had to figure out how to turn this into a better neighborhood. Maybe this has actually gotten better. This guy's out there actually watering his grass, except for the chair. It's a little takeaway. I think you need to put that one in the trash. It's actually a part of San Bernardino I don't think I've ever been to. And it's not too bad, right in here, really. It's okay. It's like middle class, a little kind of rough. Some of them are, but... Well, motorcycles in the yard and all the trash under the trailer weren't looking so appealing, sorry. And this one here has kind of run down. I think we're near the train yard or something. It's an area that I don't usually travel. Definitely was getting exponentially worse as I got to the graffiti covered fence. I don't know why people seem to think the side of the street is the dump. Please don't. 
Wow, is that church abandoned or is it just run down? Really sad. Well, I think it's still open. There's some newer homes along here. Ooh, guys fixing their cars. Ooh, duplexes. Hey. The real estate guy figured out something here. Just let him peel, too. Or is that graffiti touch-up? I don't know what that is, actually. But it is pretty unsightly. I wonder if he does very well selling flowers in this neighborhood. Seems like a pretty tough crowd around here. So right over there is, I think, the train yard. I, I don't know. I get kind of confused in this part of town. But look at the yards. I mean, some of them are really nice. There's some nice homes over here. I don't recall this. I don't think I've ever been to this part of San Bernardino, actually. There's a lot of nice hits and then oh, quite a few misses as well. Oh yeah, we crossed the tracks. Yep, definitely, definitely the part of town that I know about. I think I'm usually on this side of the tracks, actually. Yeah, this is the neighborhood I recall. Oh, I think I just passed over into Colton. Oh yeah, this is a part of Colton that I didn't film, I think. I think I didn't come up this far. So yeah, this is a bit of Colton right here. Lovely. Yeah, good old Colton. Huh. And I think this part's San Bernardino over here. Maybe that's Colton and this is San Bernardino over here. I think we're right on the edge. Uh, blue signs. I think that's still Colton. I don't know how I got over here, but somehow I did. And these signs change color. Hmm. Hmm. Still in the corner of Colton here. I'm trying to find that other part of San Bernardino where I usually go. I think at this massage place here. What do you guys think? Should I go in? I don't think I will. Ah, now I'm back into San Bernardino. I don't know how I got over there. There's a part of San Bernardino that kind of crosses the line there. And this is the lovely part I just love about this town. So this will be the only mall left in San Bernardino, and most of it's empty anyway, I suppose. I think most of the malls are going to be gone here pretty soon with the lovely internet. It seems to be taking over. I really don't know what's going to happen there. You know, it's like everybody goes, well, you buy everything on the internet. It's, it's kind of a pain when you can't try on clothes and all that stuff. Somebody in a wheelchair should never be on the streets like that. They should be able to afford to live somewhere. But thanks to the good old state of California, they've made rents so high. All this stupid rent control thing they did just made rents go up immediately. 
there's so many loopholes in it and it's not even done right. Incentives like the video that I have on high rents in California, what to do about it, would be a much better way shootings in this neighborhood right here. Let's go down, make a U-turn. Interesting. And right here it becomes Colton, I think, right? Yep. It's Colton San Bernardino. It's Colton right here. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think that's going to conclude our tour of the lovely San Bernardino. And uh, I know I didn't cover everything. There's still areas of it that there's all way up there by the university. Um, uh, that can be, yeah, there's good and bad up there. There's some really bad and then some really good. And then uh, there's some of this area here that has some interesting stuff. I just thought I'd drive along here. Look at that. What is that rat bike? Is that like rideable? No way. That doesn't get ridden. That's just an ornament. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, they kicked them all out of here, I think. All the homeless guys. They, they don't tolerate it around here. These businesses don't. That's why they got those fences over there to keep them from migrating through here. They used to. And uh, they just fenced them in. The only place they're around still is the Harbor Freight over there. And uh, I don't think they let them in the store anymore. They kind of know who they are. They don't just let them, don't let them in. Because if they let them in, their stuff leaves. And they can't do anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed the lovely tour of San Berduki. And I hope uh, you found it enjoyable. I think what I'm going to do myself is I'm going to head to Colton and drive through Colton on the way home because I don't want to have to go on that nasty freeway back to Riverside. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe. I know there's tons of homeless right around here. Um, and I'm not going to be able to film them right now because I'm heading out. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe.